Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Piyush Agarwal and in this video, I will be sharing how to create your own custom activities. Before starting, I would recommend that these videos are for intermediate RP developers. That is, if you have a um, certain experience of working with UiPath for more than six months. Because, or or you, if you have previously worked as a C-sharp developer, if you have worked in using C-sharp, then you can go for this. So the three, there are a few things that you need before starting. First, Visual Studio 2019 to create our, to write the code for our custom activities. Then second, we need a Nugget Package Explorer to create the Nugget packages, which you generally use in the Manage Packages folder. And you should have your UiPath Studio installed in your system. To if uh, now to get the uh, Visual Studio, you just need to search it on Google, you will be able to download it through Microsoft platforms. For Nugget Package Explorer, you can look it into the Microsoft Store and UiPath Studio is definitely, you know, from where to get. Okay, so I have opened my Visual Studio and without wasting time, we are going to start with our first activity. Let's click on create a new project. Our language would be C Sharp, platform, Windows and component type would be library. You need to select this class library .NET framework, which is for creating C sharp class library. Click on next. Now give the project name. <clears throat> Thing to know about this project name is that it would be same as your this package name, the first initial package name, like hey, orchestrator, programming system. This would be this your project name. So I am giving it name as starter package. and click on create. <clears throat> so Visual Studio has provided us a, with, with a small amount of code and some uh, few things over here in the search solution explorer. So before st uh, starting with writing the code, we need to add one thing. We need to click on references, right click on it, click on add reference, now go to browse it's not showing anything okay in assemblies we have got now we need system dot component model this is the thing that we require system dot component model dot composition this will help us to create our activities so that they are compatible with ui path okay uh, composition not it was system dot component model that's what we need so let's see if there is anything. Okay, let's click on okay. Now I can write it over here using system dot component model. Okay. Now another thing we should call is using system dot activities. Okay, it says that it is not available over here. So I guess we will have to again get it from add references. Let's look for here we have got using system.activities. So let's add it. And now the error is gone. Uh, one thing great about this Visual Studio 2019 IDE is that it will help you find out the errors you, are, you might have written while writing your code and you can easily resolve them. Okay, next, this uh, we know the starter package is the main package name. Now, under that, like here, we have got so many sub packages name, alerts, APIs, assets. So I want to create another sub package for my particular activity. Let's say starter package dot first activity build. Okay, if I, this, shows an hierarchy which is followed in UiPath. This would be a parent folder. This would be a subfolder. And within that, this public class class name. This class name would be your actual activity name. Okay. So what I want my activity name to be like, uh, we are going to create an activity which concatenates two strings for us, a very simple activity. So let's give it concatenate name as well, concatenate strings 
and we need to inherit a class called code activity in this next if we want to create a uh, like for this activity the structure would be we will be getting two inputs from the user the string one and string two and we will be giving an output back to the user with a concatenation of both those two strings cool so first i need uh two argument three arguments in two input out arguments and one output arguments to write that first write prop then press tab two times okay then you need to change this this is currently in my properties a kind of variable we need to convert it into an argument so i will write in argument uh, then i need to give the name like uh, the type of this variable which is string and then argument name which is let's say string one okay similarly i need two more arguments another which is string two and then one out argument so for this instead of in i will let out and let's give it output string okay now next thing uh, we need is like if we have seen for if i open any activity let's say right cell here is a properties panel we have got common destination input these are called categories in which get what property what is the category of our activity so to assign that if this is an input category what we do we uh, use square brackets and write category then brackets input this particular statement will uh, define that it should come under this input category and you can create any of these categories based on any name that you decide it's not necessary to be input i can create an activity with my name piyush a category piyush inside which the requirements are there so i am going with the standard input one then i need a name what would be the display name of my particular argument so display name let's say string 1 it again it not required to be same as this one it can it will be same as cell or sheet name then i want a description what uh, so that user would know what is this activity for like this specifies the cell in range format to which the input will be treated. that is the description of this activity particular argument so my description is um string to be concatenated with another string now uh, i can write first string to be concatenated with another string similarly let's copy this and paste it over here here i am going to write second and again similarly for this now instead of input it would be my output category its name should be string 2 and this should be display name should be concatenated string okay now we are done with the input part a uh, basic sub part which different denotes the tells the activity that what are the requirements i have okay next the time comes for the actual code that like how this activity is going to work so for that i will write protected override void execute this so this function is where your actual code starts to work now i am removing this throw implementation and first of all let's fetch the uh, variables the values which are provided by the user so that would be string dot uh, i am creating another variable called first string equals to now this string one that i want is string one dot 
get context this particular statement how it, what it will do it will get the value provided by user to the string one uh, input field next similarly i want the second string as well equals to string to dot get context now finally we need to set the concatenate those two strings so let's write string concatenated string equal first string then plus a space second string and a semicolon now this concatenated string is the uh, actual output that we have and we want to return it back to the user so for that output string dot set get is something we use to get the value and set to send the value back to the user context comma what is the value i want to send back is concatenated string and a semicolon that's it so with this small amount of code yes it is a uh, sorry pardon my mistake it is definitely bigger than what we do in ui path but that is how brilliant that why this shows how brilliant ui path is by how much struggle those developers might have done when they had created those activities for ui path so this amount this is the code which will give me an activity that concatenates two strings and give me an output okay so next i am going to do, go to build and click on build solution so one successful build it has created a dll file for me which is the first which is used to create a nugget package now let's copy this and jump on to the nugget package explorer i want to create a new package so over here first let's create a add lib folder then right click on it and click on add existing file here i will give the path open now here click on this edit metadata option this is the data which you give to a user who would be using your activities so for, uh, if explained properly uh, we open manage packages and click on any package available over here there are these where uh, in this information is available which helps us to understand Uh, who has created this activity if it is authenticated or not when it was created which version i am using so all these details are the metadata of the package okay so starting with the uh, id i will give the id as starter package or uh, custom activities what was the name space okay i have here over here starter package okay cool so that only i am giving as the id the first name space then the version is 1.0.0 title it if it is the uh, title by which your activity will be seen over here like ui part.xl.activities that is the title so starter package dot learn custom activities or i suppose it would be great to sound great okay now author i am its author yush agarwal same as its owner mm, here i can i can give any i can it could be a path on my system or it could be a file which is available on internet so i will just for this video i will add an icon from google let's say the icon images mm, this looks cool i will copy image link go back to nugget package explorer and add it over here that's it here you can add the description like uh, this is the first activity 
we have built which concatenates two strings okay and that now i need i have added the metadata now i just need to create the nugget package so save as now i am going to save it in my folder this components uh, you can save it anywhere on the system though you need to define that path in ui path so it's a good practice to uh, create a particular folder in which you will create your own packages components all together in one place always so this components is that one starter package save so that is done now i am going back to ui path click on settings here you see this is the pack source that i have added the components one if you want to add your own you can just give a name over here like um, packages path and then uh, you click on here browse you select your folder wherever it is and add that will add it over here okay so i'm not adding this one now once you have added like here is my downloaded components let's see. this is the package that we have created learn custom activities dot starter package here is a description the version owner and date published now i will just click on install and save so we have created our activity now we need to test how it works and uh, guys uh, i forgot if you have not uh, if you have like like these videos that i am creating would like to learn more please do like share and subscribe to my channel and this in this this particular uh, would be a playlist that i am creating so that everyone can understand from scratch how to build their own activities and we are going to create many activities in this playlist so here now let's go down here we have got our starter package the first activity build and in that we have concatenate strings so let's copy it now it's asking me for string one i will give my first name yush second name is agarwal and create a variable let's output now to check how if it is working let's use the right line and output okay so let's see if it works see so we have got the output piyush other wallet has concatenated string 1 and string 2 that's all guys for this video hope you might have understood how to create your own activities no this is not the end of this playlist furthermore what i have thought is to create a complete playlist of more from more videos through so that you can practice different kind of activities different kind of coding practices that we need like uh, this particular package that we have built is not in any way is of using good practices this is just a starter activity we are going to learn slowly how we can improve our packages make them more reliable just like our ui path activities and so it would be helpful for us to create more personalized customized activities for our robots hope you guys like my videos do like share and subscribe to my channel share it in your own communities thank you guys see you in my next video